one rinser. It looks like I got one out of five works. You guys remember that place? I filmed it when it was an old McNeil tunnel, and look at look what it says. Newly remodeled, the state-of-the-art tunnel, and it says, we are now open at the brand spanking new wash hall, featuring the latest technology for the cleanest wash in Tacoma. So yeah, we have to actually have to go inside and pay, so we'll be right back. Okay, so we went inside, we got our code, well, a ticket, I guess, because this is an attendant thing. Yeah. Let's see, looks like they got a new conveyor. And yeah, let's see. Oh, yep. Wow, look at that. They have a brand new tunnel. Do you need this? If anyone knows. Please let me know in the comments on what machine this is. I'm not too sure, but it's definitely new equipment, that's for sure. Because that looks nice and new. Wait, hang on a second. I think that's a Bellinger logo, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna pause the video here. Just because I don't want to use up memory space, so yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, these people are getting ready to be put in. So yeah, guys, I'm actually going to put a link to the footage of the old machine that was here before. In the description, so if you want to see the footage of the old machine, although probably at the beginning I'll probably show a little clip. Jeez, getting ready to guide us in. The previous machine here was actually a vintage 1980s McNeil R Softline RS520. Believe it or not. Once again, I'll put a link to the footage of the old machine in the description for any of you who want to see the footage. Turns out the dryers are the same. Someone pulling behind us, can't really tell. Yeah. He's not fighting. Hold Alright, looks like this overhead signage does not work for you. Here we go. Go be silent. Sorry now.
cut of Sony's arch. Here we got the dryer. So we got the glass meter current. Uh, another rinse. Look, it's dripping the part of the wax. Apologies if I am uh, mispronouncing that. Ouch. And yeah, looks like this gap is probably because this thing had another dryer unit. Once again, please let me know in the description what type of machine this is. Because I saw a Sony's high pressure blaster arch. I like how it still says pink elephant, even though it's just called pink dolphin. See you guys. That concludes this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell to get notified for more great videos like this. Once again, please let me know down below if you know the brand of this uh, car wash. Thank you, thank you everyone, and have a great day. Aftermath of the car wash. Looks like it left quite a bit of residue. I'm sure you guys can see it on the camera. As you can see, it's kind of right there. The drying was okay. It was soap once again. Is there was only one set of dryers and the rinsing was pretty poor. Let's say relatively. It wasn't super bad. It wasn't as bad as the Max C, but it still kind of left some behind. By the way, that scuff mark is from the. That is not from the machine. That's from the XS2 and Fife. Let's see it's on the windows, under right there. See it's this car wash is about an eight out of ten. Sorry, not eight out of ten, I apologize. Uh, seven and a half I guess. Got the wheels though. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell. Get notified for more great videos like this. Thank you everyone and have a great day.